Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Hello. How are you today? I feel good. Feel good, Rodrigo? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and how was your weekend? It's a really quiet weekend. Quiet? Oh, yeah. okay. I Did stay you... at home. Okay. Get some rest? Yes. Okay. Only uh, I walk with my dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's nice. Nice and relaxing. Yes. All right. Very good. And Jacqueline, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, how was your weekend? Oh, I I'm, I'm feel I feel great. I'm sorry for, uh, in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sleeping. Mm. Relax. Okay, that's nice. I'm happy you had a relaxed weekend. And Clarissa, good morning. Hi, good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. All right, excellent. Very happy to, to hear you. And Karen also is here. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good. Everything okay? Good morning. Good morning, Liz. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Everything great, thank you. <laughs> it's great. Very, very happy to start again. And ready for the week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. And how are you, Lisette? How was your weekend? Um, I'm staying in my house. I'm cleaning my house, um, watch TV series. Ah, and on Saturday, I... Siempre tengo problemas con los tiempos. Eh, tuve uh -huh. Uh -huh. a day with my prometido. Okay, with, uh, with your fiance. You had a date. Mike? You had a date ah, with, uh -huh. with your fiance. Fiance, okay. Uh -huh. Only that. Like that. <laughs> nice. That's good. That's good. You went. You went to a date. Very nice. Very nice. Good morning, Arlette. Hi. How are you? Fine. And you? Waking up. <laughs> yeah. Get alive. Something like. That. <laughs> Still recovering. Still recovering. Yeah. So, how was your weekend, Arlette? Uh, normal, I think so. I spend my time in home with mm. my mother. We don't do a lot. Um, oh, really? I only make budding in, in Sunday to drink with a coffee and that's it. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, funny things for my weekend and normal, mm -hmm. I think so. Nice. Delicious. How, how did it go? How the budding? Mm, it's my second time, actually. Uh, better than first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> So bad, so good. <laughs> okay, okay. So you're improving the recipe. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm not Me? a good cooking, but I try. All right, all right. Morning, Victor. Victor no, I'm still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Victor. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh, Thank oh, you. there you are. You? <laughs> Everything great. Thank you so much. How was your weekend, Victor? Oh, so, 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 uh, 
I visit my my family, my my mothers, and, mm -hmm. and my sister and my brothers too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when where do they live? Uh, Suchitoto. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. How's everything in Suchitoto? Repeat me, please. How is everything in Suchitoto? Ah, it's uh, in Suchitoto City. It's very, very warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, very warm, right? Very hot. Yeah, yeah. But uh, mm. my mom uh, live uh, before before and before arrive to Chitoto, oh. uh, the weather is, is is nice. Oh, I see. Is it uh, today uh, yesterday was a uh, uh, wind very wind windy mm -hmm. windy mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's true it's true yesterday was windy okay that's great that's great I... Suchitoto is one of my favorite places, so I'm glad you were you were there and um, and you were able to visit the places there. The Central Park of Suchitoto is really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Welcome to the class, Victor. Thank you. Oh, Jessica, why are Hi, you everybody. so dark? <laughs> Hi. Hi, good morning, people. Good morning, Jessica. How are you? Buddy. No, no. <laughs> How was your weekend, Jessica? Very good. Um, I, I stay in home. Hmm, okay. And only go to the supermarket only. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Very good, very good. It's good to stay at home, especially because of the pandemic situation. So very nice, Jessica. Thank you for coming to the class and welcome. Um, where? Carmen. <laughs> good morning, Hello. Carmen. Good morning. How are you? Uh, so sorry, teacher. Why? I want I want to rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the weekend is not enough. No. Mm -hmm. I had to work. Oh really? Yes. Both days or only Saturday? Uh, some hours um, to Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Wow. Oh no, Carmen. That is that is difficult, but you don't wake up early during the weekend. No, but my mi cerebro, sí. <laughs> my brain. My brain. Mm -hmm. My brain always wakes up early. Thinking in my job. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I understand. And what about Nora? Is she with you? Yeah. Hi, Nora. Yes. Hello. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. Good morning. Nice to see you, Nora. Thank you. All right. And what's up with Rolando? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. What's up? Um, How are you? Um, fine. I just I have to wake up very early for me. Um, I'm not a morning person. Oh. I'm usually uh, sleep very later. So mm. you go to sleep very late, I and you wake up late. To sleep very late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Oh well. So <laughs> this is a big sacrifice for you, Rolando. Um, yes, I I have a a, a little daughter and. I didn't speak about the first day I introduced myself, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I I have a a a, a girl. Uh, she is uh, six years old, 
Mm-hmm. Um, I had to uh, do homework when I finished my shift. Mm-hmm. I, I had to do the homework with her. So uh, <laughs> it's complicated. It's complicated, yes. Yes, I understand. I understand. I am a, I'm a single father. I live with my daughter here, only only my daughter and myself. Mm-hmm. So um, so after classes, I have to I have to do homework with her as well. I do a single dad. Yes. Ah, uh, me too. Uh, <laughs> lives with me. And, you know, uh, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, my daughter and my daughter is the same age as yours. She's six years old. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> yeah, so we can understand. Yeah, this case, you know? <laughs> the situation is very, very much alike. But it's so comfortable. Uh, how to say is um um. Que es muy es un galardón decir. Uh, very co- es, it's um it's a rewarding life. Como it's re- a rewarding así, life. Es retribuyente, así muy muy. Mm-hmm, very yeah, gratifying, rewarding. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's 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 really nice. It's really nice. It's, they they pay every attention with love, so that's great. Yes. <laughs> I feel so loved by her. Uh, she always, when she wakes up, uh, uh, give me a lot of kisses, and I love you, pa, um, and say all uh, lovely things to me. Mm-hmm. Very lovely. Yeah, very nice. They're lovely. Enjoy your breakfast, Jacqueline. <laughs> okay so everybody good morning and welcome thank you so much for your, the sacrifice you make to come to the class and continue learning um, it is a pleasure to me to be here with you again and we are going to start with the class who remembers what we talked about last week Description of the product. Mm-hmm. Descriptions of products. We started with that. That's right. And what were oh, the basic? Sales. Sorry? We also uh, talk about sales. We talked a little bit about sales. That's right. Purchases. And um, in a little bit about products. So do you remember what were the... Um, what were the specifications of the products that we discussed remember what what were the descriptions of products that we had a definition and a concept remember the concepts they were in your book we we'll talk a uh, uh, smartphone okay okay yeah we made the description a quick description of a of a smartphone um, so what did we say about products? Do you remember the characteristics? Price. Price, Nora, thank you so much. We talked about the price, dimensions. Size. Size, very good. Memory, that's right. Battery, Future. battery life. Resolution picture. Storage, resolution. Camera. That's RAM. Right. And Sorry, the RAM. RAM. So do you remember what we said the memory was? Memory, memory. The storage. Memory is the storage. That's correct. Is the amount of information you can put inside the, 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 the phone. Bless you, Liz. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> and then we talked about the RAM. What is the RAM about? The RAM is the speed. Excellent, Rosemary. The RAM is the speed. The speed of any technological item. It can be a computer, a laptop, a phone. Do you know any other product that uses RAM? Tablet. A tablet. Good job. Uh, video games console. Consoles. Yes. Wonderful. You guys are in something. Andan en algo. Ya lo vi. Uh, 
<laughs> good job, good job, excellent. So, um, why is it important to know the battery life? Uh, I, I think that is it is important in two aspects. Um, one of the aspects is uh, the persons who purchase these devices. Um, they are looking for an extended time to work on the device because most of them work on the device out of their homes or they are mm -hmm. traveling. So I need a, an extended life, um, extend, uh, how to say, extended uh, battery and life. Life, yes. Mm -hmm. And another uh, <clears throat> thing to think about um, about the power of the of the device is the level of consume on the energy consume consumption uh, con consumption mm -hmm. okay because there are two types of processors the ARM processors that have low charge and they have an extended life battery and the other a processor is uh, based on x64 technology that mm -hmm. is, this technology allows to the processor manage more charge and then they can work a lot of process at the same time as the laptops AR, arm processors are the mobile processors are different between them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good thank you rolando Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very interesting about battery life. Of course, everybody who buys a phone, we are always thinking, I, the battery is never enough. My battery goes low very fast. But we, of course, we want long battery life. One day, two days. Or do you remember Nokia phones? Who had a Nokia phone? <laughs> Do you remember Nokia, sure. Nokia de Culebrita? Oh my yes. God. I'm sure I, I had one and I have it somewhere. I think I have it in a box somewhere in my house. I think it still has charge. <laughs> Todavía de tener carga desde que lo guardé <laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> Inde indestructible. Yeah, indestructible. Right. They, I remember they fall, they were ran over by cars. Hasta un carro les podía pasar encima la llanta and they were still fine. <laughs> Very nice phones. And what is the warranty? Do you remember that term, the warranty? Let me try Jenny. Tell me, Jenny. Good morning, by the way. Hey, good morning. <laughs> the warranty is the time for the for the fabric can repair the the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's the time after you purchase. Yes. The time after you purchase the the product, it's the time where the fabricant can still repair or repair or, or, change, or change. change. Good, good, good. Replace. Repair or replace the product. Okay. Yeah. Do you follow the idea? Yeah. Repair or replace the product. Very good. Very nice, 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 nice. Okay, so that's a good, a good review. Un buen repaso. Do you have any questions with those terms? No? No, it's okay. You guys remember a cell phone that was very famous many years ago? It was a Panasonic phone. No? It was called the Panasonic Mini. It was this little, 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 uh, 
phone with a little antenita, with a little antenna. It was so small. You guys didn't didn't have one of those. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me show you here very quickly, just so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Do you see this? Yes. <laughs> look at look at uh, the size compared with compared to the it's hand. It's a toy cell phone teacher. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it looked like one, it looked like a toy, but it was actually very functional. It was um it was so small, but so very small that it could fit in your in your in your pocket. But not the regular pocket, sino que la, 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 bols, la bolsita del pantalón para monedas, the, the change pocket. So it was so small that you could fit it in there. <laughs> so that's a good example of a small size. The size on the phone, oh, very small. Sizes are usually S, M, L, XL, double XL, triple XL depending on what type of product you are um, you are looking for, okay? Okay, I have an exercise for you. How about that? Uh, can you still see my screen? No, right? Maybe not. No. Okay, no. here we go. Tell me when you can see it. No. You can see it now, right? Yes. <laughs> see, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, wait. I'm sharing the wrong screen. Here we go. This is the one. Oh, what's going on here? Too early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you see my ESL cyber listening lab? Do you see my screen? Yes. Good. Yes. So ESL, ESL stands for English as a second language. English as a second language cyber listening lab. So right now we are going to have a small listening laboratory. Okay. We are going to listen a small audio and then we're going to answer some questions. Okay. Good, good, good. How's everybody else? Um, the ones who don't have their camera on, Ricardo, Carlos, Ana Lorena, Oscar. Cesar, everybody okay there? Ready to start? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Yes. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Yes, and, okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, good to see you. And Ricardo, how are you, Ricardo? How are you? Uh, it's okay. All right, good job, good job. All right. Okay, so here is what we're going to do. Check this out. This is a pre-listening um, pre exercise. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Can you help me read, Ana Lorena? Here, shopping. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pre-listening exercise? Mm-hmm. Shopping online or at local department store, it's activity many people enjoy. Mm -hmm. How often do you go shopping for the following item? And where do you bought them? Clothing, gift for, for friends and family, music, DVD, movies, electronics. Okay, stop right there. Okay, so there's a question here. Check this out. How often do you go shopping for the following items? And where do you buy them? 
So let's start with clothing. How often do you go shopping for clothing? Ah, Nora se está riendo. I think she <laughs> every weekend. <laughs> every day. Every day. <laughs> wow. No. Estrenando yeah. every day. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that true, Nora? No. How not. often do you go? Um, two months. Every two months. <laughs> oh, two times a month. Two times a month. Twice a month. Twice a month. Yes. Oh, okay. But the quantity. <laughs> ah, <laughs> she buys for the entire month. Yeah, she buys a lot. Okay, very good, Nora. Thank you. How often do you go shopping for clothes, Jessica? Well, um, only when I need something. Oh. My are, are very... Uh, what? Mi jeans están demasiado desgastados, entonces voy a comprarme. So you only... You only go shopping for clothes when it's strictly necessary. Yes, but oh. my son, no, is uh, three, three months, uh, cada tres meses más o menos, porque... Every, every three months. Crecen muy rápido los condenados. Yes. How old is your son? Eleven and eight. 11 and 8. Oh, you have two boys. Two boys? Yes, two boys. Wow. Congratulations, Jessica. Thank you. So that is every three months for the kids and yes. every what for you? When I need it. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think that is? Every year? Every six months? Six months. Every six months. Okay. Okay. What about rosemary? How often do you shop for clothes? Uh, maybe when only when it's necessary for me. But uh, mm -hmm. for my daughter, once a month. A month maybe. Once a month. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. She is four years old and I, she grows very fast. Yeah, I understand. I understand. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, I have a, a very, I am, I'm very lucky in one way, because did you know that I have never purchased clothes for my daughter? Never, never. Mm. Las mantas de tortillas le hago de vestir. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, but you know, it's... I'm a blessing man. Oh no, I don't I don't buy her any clothes because my mother lives in the States. So every month there's a big bag of clothes coming from the States. And so I have the blessing, the blessing that I don't have to buy clothes. So it's my mother who, who is in charge of that. And it's because she wants to. <laughs> I'm like, mom, that's too much clothes. Don't send any more clothes. And she's like, no, hijo, deja que la niña tenga ropita. <laughs> and she has a lot. So, But that's a good thing. Um, I have um, the blessing of having my mother helping with that. So that's nice. Yes. Uh, thank you, Rosemary. And we're going to ask Victor. How often do you shop for clothes, Victor? For me, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you bought something for you, you don't remember. I don't remember. But my for my do my sons, my children uh, is. Uh, once a the once a year, the years. Once a year, okay. Once a year. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Sometimes, if you buy clothes for kids, especially when they are seven or eight, they grow so fast. They wake up and they're two more sizes. 
two sizes bigger when they wake up. So, yeah, very good, Victor. Very good. And Oscar, Melara, how often do you go shopping for clothes? Uh, hi, good morning. Morning. Uh, well, uh, when necessary, uh, necessary, and I don't like to spend for pleasure. Mm, okay. So only when necessary. Yes. All right. How often is that? Every year? Every six months? Uh, every six months. Oh, okay. yes. Six months. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Every year, every six months is still okay. Every three years? Mm -mm, mm -mm. You, need, you need something sooner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good. Okay, Oscar. Thank you so much. Now, okay. the, um, the second question says... How often do you shop for gifts for friends and family? So how often do you buy gifts for your friends and family? What about Arlette? Actually, thanks of the pandemic, not too much now. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, nice. Right? <laughs> because only is, uh, I don't know, video call celebrations for mm -hmm. the moment. But um, actually, every time they, somebody invites us for a party for celebrate their birthdays, something like that. Oh, not okay. Not too much. Not too much. <laughs> in That's my case, all. teacher. Yes, Rosemary? Okay, in my case, when they have a birthday mm -hmm. or just for Christmas. Oh, Christmas mm -hmm. too. That's right. Yes. That's right. Okay. How often do you shop for gifts and uh, gifts for friends and family, uh, Cesar? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I uh, I think never. <laughs> never. <laughs> so I, when when you I, go to a party, you don't bring a present. Uh, I. Le doy the money, the money. Oh, envelope yes. gifts. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, happy, happy birthday, mom. Damn. Here. Money, 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 yes. money, 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 money. Good, good. That's a good idea, Cesar. That's yes. a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know you guys, but I always prefer money, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> especially when you have a, a small daughter. You have to have a couple of, you know, savings for emergencies, right, Rolando? Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. And how often do you shop for gifts and for friends and family, Lisette? Sorry, <laughs> I buy gifts for my for my family or my friend um, for your birthday, mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. uh, anniversary, and Christmas too. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So please raise your hand if you don't buy anything for Valentine's. If we don't have nobody to buy gifts for. <laughs> Ooh, confessions, confessions. Very good, Liz. Very good. And uh, other than Christmas, Valentine's, birthdays, anniversaries. Does anybody buy gifts for any different occasion? Yes, Jessica, I am. tell me. Uh, it's because my nephew. Mm -hmm. So when I see something I know he likes, oh. I buy. Oh, nice for your nephew. Yes, and mm. and now my brother, no, my sister-in-law is mm -hmm. pregnant. Oh. So I, I, I buy something I, I see. Uh -huh. 
debe ser para niño o niña porque no sabemos qué es. Ajá, ajá. Ahí está mi, mi carrerita, mi... You, your, you, your contribution. <laughs> All right, that's awesome, that's awesome. So, you see, Jessica buys gifts for the future child, even if it's not the, the birthday or anniversary or Christmas or, or, um, or Valentine's. So, those are... The, we're going to write it in the chat. These are um, purchasing trends. These are purchasing trends. Does anybody know what trend means? Trend. No? Patrones de compra. Trend. Um, purchasing trends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, some people buy clothes once a year. Some people buy clothes. Oh, yes, Arlette. Uh, trends también es como tendencia. Exactly. Yes. You have to. Um, trends or, or patterns. Mm. Mm -hmm. Patrones y tendencias. That's right. Tendencias y patrones, rather. Trends no, or patterns. Exactly. <laughs> well, not really, not really. Because eh, purchasing trends or purchasing patterns son patrones de compra o tendencias de compra. More referred to how often you buy stuff. How often you buy stuff. Okay. So let's check what is the pattern on technological items. Do you see my screen? How often do you buy electronics or technology? How often do you buy technology? Let's see, Rodrigo, how often do you buy technology items, electronics? I think three times a year. Oh, wow, really? Can you tell us more about it? What do you buy three times a year? In this in this year, I buy a, a headphones. A oh, headphones. headphones. Nice. You see? It's really nice. Yeah. Because I need to, I need to, these headphones, because uh, I have a meetings in my work every time. So I need to put off my ear and move. Oh, so you have Bluetooth headsets? Yes. Wireless? Wireless, yes. Nice, nice. You see, when I say electronics, most people think about cell phones. But electronics are headsets, Bluetooth um, speakers, smartwatch, smart watch, TVs, etc. USBs and everything. Thank you, Rodrigo. Very nice. You're Very welcome. Nice. And Ricardo, how often do you purchase electronic items or technological items? Mm. Uh, one, one in a one time in a month. <laughs> Once Maybe. a month, wow. <laughs> and what do you buy every month, Ricardo? <laughs> uh, accessories for my Nintendo Switch. Maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah, of course. When you are a gamer, you also oh. invest some money in that. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Ricardo. Okay, you see, Ricardo is thinking about a Nintendo Switch. So that's another technological item. Let's see. What about technology? Rolando, what, what type of technology technology do you buy and how often? Um I I only buy when it's necessary. Um maybe uh 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 computer supplies. Um for example, in this month, I buy a, um, a printer. Mm -hmm. 
the last time I purchased some electronic were my phone two years ago. So it depends mm -hmm. if it's necessary, I buy the okay. device. Okay, okay. You see, we don't we don't really think about it very much, but we always need something of technology. We always need technology. For example, Rolando, he bought a printer. And Rodrigo, he bought a pair of headsets. And then Ricardo, he bought accessories for his Nintendo. We're probably not thinking about it. I want everybody to think about the last technology item you bought. The last technology item you purchased. What was it? Think about it, think about it. What was the last technology item you purchased, Jessica? I have to buy two laptops. Oh my God, two laptops, wow. Because, because of I, online classes. <laughs> uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and um, we have one in Charrino. It broke down. Yeah, and the tablet is not uh, sufficient. Not enough. Not enough because my son is like this and try to to read and oh uh, yeah. Mucho. Entonces, mm -hmm. so we we buy a Chromebook in a laptop for me. Right. Wow, that's a big investment. Yeah. Wow. But we have a little bit and um, money. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Very good. Yeah, definitely you have to make the investment because it's yeah. important, especially for the comfortability. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what was the last technological item you purchased, uh, Jenny? The last article for my house, uh, memory for the computer and mouse okay um, but in my job i buy take uh, electronic part every time because oh, the nice. the project uh, in my job are installed cameras and oh. control access and mm -hmm. fire alarm so it's yeah. very technological. Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. I see. Um, let's see. One more person. Carlos Eduardo. Good morning. So what technological morning, items everyone. have you purchased these days? Maybe the last technological item that I bought maybe is a Chromecast for my TV. Oh, nice. I have one of those too. They're awesome. Yes, really nice. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Really nice. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, based on what we heard, tell me, what is the what is the trend on technological item purchases? Let's see. Tell me about the trend and pattern. What is the trend or pattern for electronic purchases in the class? What is the trend or pattern for electronic purchase? For electronic items, me comí una palabra, items, purchases in the class. What's the trend? Tell me, what do you think? Do we have a, a very common trend, purchases, a lot of purchases, or what? How would you describe the trend? ¿Quién se atreve a tratar de describir el patrón, the pattern? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me an idea. Okay. What? Oh, yes, tell me. 
I think it's the 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 student uh, buy a a computer or a laptop. No, a, a laptop or tablet will you class on, online. I think it's the trend because all the all the students need to to a computer or tablet to receive the class. Okay, so we have identified the first trend. Trend number one, students in this class usually buy electronics for home office and homeschooling. Okay, the first trend, because for example, somebody bought headsets for home office, meetings and everything. Then Jessica bought computers for homeschooling because of the kids, they need to go to school. And also herself, she has to take classes online, so she needed a computer. What is another trend that you have identified? What else can you tell me? A conclusion. For example, accessories. Mm -hmm. Victor, good job. So, accessories, uh, for, for example, a handphone, mouse. A common electronic purchase is accessories for computers and other electronics like game consoles there you go okay another trend is that something very common to purchase is accessories okay common purchases are accessories because people need a uh, headsets controllers videos video devices cameras etc so those are accessories and Arlette, you were saying, I'm sorry. No, I was saying maybe for entertainment because some kind of people buy, I don't know, electronic device for his own entertainment. I don't know, movie okay. theaters okay. or cameras. Or I don't know. Second most common reason for electronic purchases, electronic devices, Purchase, I purchases is entertainment. Or making comfortable his own uh, homes now. Or comfortability. There you go. Nice. Three trends. Number one, students usually buy electronics because of the need okay because it's necessary homeschooling home office to go to classes etc also a second trend or a second pattern is that very commonly people don't buy electronic devices but accessories instead we don't buy cell phones every month but once we have a cell phone sometimes we need accessories headsets or hands-free or wireless speakers or other stuff. And then number three, the second most common reason to buy electronic devices is entertainment or comfortability. To be comfortable and to be entertained. Okay. Good, good, good. Let me send this information. Sure. Yes. Tell me. Um, but in this time, in this time, uh, it is common uh, to buy other items, for example, a good chair or a desk um, for comfortable, comfortable. Comfortability. 
no sé cómo se pero yeah. confortable uh, comfortable mm -hmm. uh -huh. comfortable very good and that was my last question you know thank you very much because here we have clothing gifts and electronics but my next question was what are we're going to write it down here What are other products you need to buy these days in order to be comfortable and be productive? So what are other products you need to buy these days in order to be comfortable Healthy, I healthy and be productive. Desk and chair. Mm -hmm. Good job. We'll say desk and chair. Nice. Thank you. What else? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Think about the Max, current. Max. Mm. Max. Oh, ah. mas, mas, mask, 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 masks. Aha, uh -huh. good job, good job. Think about the current situation. What's the current situation? Alcohol hill. Nice. That is called hand sanitizer. Sanitizer. Good. What else? Ammonia in the issue. Ammonium. Ammonium. Okay. Oh, ammo ammonium. Ammonium. There you go. I have never heard that word before the pandemic when they said, mm -hmm. oh, we have to buy am am ammonium. And I'm like, what? What is that? <laughs> I need to sing wipes. Oh, yes. Sanitizing wipes. Good. Sanitizing spray. All right. Thermometer. Thermometer. Mm -hmm. Very good idea to have a thermometer at home. I'm sorry, Jackie. What is that? I'm sorry, Jacqueline. We can't hear you very well. Okay, anybody else has an idea? What else do we need to buy very often these days? Vitamin. Mm -hmm. Vit vitamins. Okay. Guantes, como se dice, teacher? Gloves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really nice, really nice. El gorro de la cabeza, ¿cómo se dice? Um, wow. <laughs> eh, for... compañeras lo usan en oficina, entonces, por eso. Mm -hmm. So, is it, is it the, is it the face screen? It's, um, the screen, it's a, it's a plastic screen that they put in their face. Is that Careta. what you're asking? Uh huh. That. Careta. Yeah. So that those are called face screens. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ear face mask. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Let me. See. Sorry. 
surgical cap, el gorrito. Oh, yeah, no, that's possible too. Surgical eh, caps. Oh. Mm. Okay. Let me send this info to you as well. Send it on the chat so you have the, the responses there. Okie dokie. So let's continue with the exercise. Uh -huh. Ya terminamos las preguntas. We're done with the questions. And now, so here we have some idioms. Idioms no son idiomas. No son idiomas. Idioms are common phrases in a language. Common phrases, como dichos. Eh, dichos y refranes o expresiones así casuales. Casual expressions. Ok. Example. Save for a rainy day. That is an imperative. It's, a, it's an instruction or a suggestion. Carmen Cira, you should save for a rainy day. <laughs> what does that mean? Are you, are you looking at my screen? Yeah, okay. So what does that mean? Save something for the future when you need it. It's like a vaca flaca y vaca gorda. Yes, something like that. But the expression, the expression is a recommendation. It's como una recomendación. Arlette, say for a rainy day. It's a recommendation. I will try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a recommendation. Save for later. Don't spend all your money or save um like remember when the pandemic started yes. people were saving toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> people started buying toilet paper and they thought oh well i'm going to save for a rainy day so a rainy day it literally means un día de lluvia un día lluvioso but in this expression it means to save for the future Okay, save for the future when you need it. Here is an example. Instead of spending money on a new TV, I am going to save, save it for a rainy day. What's an example of a rainy day? A rainy day is all the unexpected situations. Like a sickness? Like an illness, yes, or sickness. That's right. Yes, a rainy day is when you get sick or when you have a flat tire and you need to change tires. Uh, Another uh, example. Sorry? Uh, or lost your uh, work. All right, when you lose your job or when you are sick or get sick. Okay, so pretty much a rainy day, save money for a rainy day is basically saving money for emergencies. Mm-hmm. Saving money for emergencies. Can you see my notes here? Yeah? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. Very good. If at any point, in any moment, you guys want to write something, en la parte, creo, en la parte de arriba está la opción para que ustedes también me puedan escribir algo acá en la pantalla cuando estoy compartiendo. Debería decir un lapicito que dice anotar. A little pencil that says something. So if you click there, it's going to give you the option to make drawings. There you go. Jessica made a check there. <laughs> and 
and Carmen Cita is sending a little little dots. So you have a pen, but you can also use text and other options, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Very good. Let's delete everything. Oh, I saw Trajarita. Solo con un ojo. <laughs> okay. So, uh, just in case you guys want to mention anything at any point, we can use that to communicate as well. So, you never know when you'll need it. Uh -huh. And then another idiom. So, ¿cómo dijimos que se llamaba esto? Un idiom. Idioms are common phrases, dichos y refranes. So, another idiom is a dime a dozen. It's very common, usually inexpensive and easy to find. I bought my dad a new watch at a flea market. And I thought I got a really good deal. Only to discover they were a dime a dozen at other places. A dime a dozen. A diez centavos la docena significa eso. They were a dime a dozen. Un, a diez centavos la docena. Pero no es literal. Es una expresión. Okay. So, for example, oh, I went to, I went to Price Mart. And I bought uh, T-shirts, you know. T-shirts. And they were a dime a dozen. Mm -hmm. Estaban baratas, estaban como a 10 por la, a 10 la docena, 10 centavos la docena. Esa expresión significa estaba barato, o es muy común, o es barato, o es fácil de encontrar. They were a dime a dozen. Mm -hmm. Have you ever purchased something a dime a dozen? Something really cheap. Boxers. All oh, right, yeah. When you go to when you go um, and and buy underwears. Underwears. Yes. Underwear. Um, especially where you go, if you go to downtown, underwear yes. is a dime a dozen. <laughs> Socks too. Socks too. Yes, you go downtown and you can buy a dime a dozen of socks. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, ya conocemos las expresiones. We know the expressions. And now, get ready for the audio. Okay? We have some questions that we need to answer after listening to the audio. Okay? So, I am going to need... Everybody, show me a reaction if you're ready for this exercise. Because I need you to pay a lot of attention because this is a listening exercise. Very good, very good. Carmen Cira is surprised. Why are you surprised, Carmen? What about the rest? Cesar, Ricardo, Jacqueline, Karen, Rosemary, Oscar, Anna, Victor. Ready? Ready. All right. Uh, ready. Yes, great, 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 great. Thank you. Ready. All right. I need to try. Okay. So let's go ahead and listen. Here we go. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay. How about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, 
I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty-five ninety-nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm. How about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. All right. There you go. That was the audio. And so tell me, what do you think about the audio? What what's happening there? Let's start with Ricardo. Ricardo. Ah. We can't hear you, Ricardo. Sorry. Okay, what about Lorena, Ana Lorena, tell me. Good time. Um, I give uh, buy a present for for her father. Nice. But okay. but. Uh, ay, ay, ay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I muted you. Sorry, Lorena. Can you unmute yourself? I'm oh, there sorry. you. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. The child buy a present for the for her father. Mm -hmm. for, father okay okay and what else but uh but uh i don't have money she she <laughs> doesn't have money ah it's she okay she ah. doesn't i have money um he hoped to buy a wall wallet mm -hmm. but it's very expensive for her mm -hmm. um the salesman uh show the offered <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah she she buy a, a product for five dollars all right and what was the product Lorena uh I don't listen okay too much but uh but the the, the first product is a wallet second right. is um is a a picture mark, yeah, mm -hmm. un porta retrato. Okay. But uh, thirty product, I don't listen too much. Okay, okay, you didn't hear it very well. Okay, okay, that's okay. Thank you very much, Lorena. Good job with the summary of the call. Okay. Um, yeah, very good, Jonathan Cruz. What did you hear? What What did you understand of the story? <laughs> um the the girl uh, she made um how do you say ahorros oh yeah she had some savings okay she she had some savings um i i can hear her uh about uh the money the money of mother uh, she saved that that money Mm -hmm. And she looking for a present to her uh, her father, father. Mm -hmm. but um, the savings uh, are not um, suffi um, sufficient sufficient to to uh, to buy a a wallet mm. <laughs> the, the, the black wallet. And then how Anna said um, the the seller um, he he tried um, help her to show and offer other products, mm -hmm. um, and that's that's <laughs> that's all you remember. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. So join me here. Look at my screen and help me answer these questions, okay? Let's start with Victor. What is the girl shopping for? 
is le, uh, is a present for her father. A present for her father. Correct. Okay. So the girl says, well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift, is what she said. Very good. Now, at the beginning, she asks for a wallet. And she says, how much is that black wallet, the black one? And the salesperson says, that wallet is only, how much was it, Arlette? I have a difficult to remind. I know I don't know if it's forty ninety five or forty nine ninety five. Okay. What about Carmen? I Do you remember? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't remember, but I think. <laughs> uh -huh, I think forty ninety five. Yeah. I think, right? Okay. I okay. Four ninety five. <laughs> no, no four. Oh, four okay. ninety five. 44 or 40. So, okay, somebody who tells me another option. So, it was 44 95. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jessica? 40 95. 40 95. Oh, Rodrigo says 40 95. Yes, it is correct. ¿A quién, a quién le creemos? Who do we believe? 40. Okay, 40 95. 40 94. 4095 is correct. 4095. Good Carmen, good girls. <laughs> the power good girls. Good job, good job. Yes. It's only 4095. Very good. Good job, Carmen and Rodrigo and Arlette. So, why doesn't the girl like the brown wallet? The second product was a brown wallet. Okay. So the second product, the first one was a black wallet. The second one was a brown leather wallet. But she didn't like it. No, I don't like that one. Why is that? Why do you think she didn't like the second product? Let's say, um, Carlos, why do you think she didn't like the brown wallet? Okay, the girl said that there isn't a place to put picture. Good job, Carlos. There is no place to put pictures. Let me see. Correct. The girl says, um, I don't think my father will like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? So very good. Very good. Not having a place to put pictures is important to her. But at the end, how much does the girl have to spend? About how much? Do you remember, uh, Jenny? Do you remember how much she has? Around how much? I don't remember, but uh, the present she bought is five dollars. <laughs> right, the present she bought was five dollars, but she said how much she had. She says I only have about, and she $10. gives a number. Ten dollars. Good job, everybody. Thank you. She says about ten dollars. Correct, because the salesperson asked. Um, how much do you have to spend? And she, and she says, I'm not sure. And it sounds a lot of money, a lot of little coins hitting the table. Probably about $10 or mm -hmm. so. Okay. So at the end, what did the girl purchase? Let's see. Um... Oscar, what did what does the girl decide to buy? I don't remember, Tisha. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Rolando, do you remember what she decided to buy? Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, she uh, bought a brown belt. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Let me see. What about Liz? What did the girl decide to buy? You're on mute, Liz. Oh, there. Yes. I, I think um, a tie. A tie. I don't remember, but okay. I think. <laughs> okay. So let's mark a tie. Let's see what happens. Tan, tan, tan. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, the man says, well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about $5? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. So after answering the, after answering the questions, let's hear the audio again. Okay? So we can confirm our answers. Everybody attention, please. Hi, young lady. How may I help you? Well, yeah, I'm looking for a Father's Day gift. Okay, how about getting your father a new wallet? Hmm, how much is that wallet? Uh, which one? The black one. Oh, it's only forty ninety-five. Huh? That's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper one? Hmm, how about this brown leather one? Hmm, I don't think my father would like the design on the outside. And it doesn't have a place to put pictures. How much is it anyway? It's twenty five ninety nine. Hmm, I don't have that much money. Okay, how much money do you have to spend? I'm not sure. Probably about ten dollars or so. I've been helping my mom around the house for the past week to earn some money. This is all I have. Hmm, how about this tie? That's real pretty, but the price tag says... Thirteen ninety nine, and I know I don't have that much money. Well, let's just say the tie went on sale. How about five dollars? What do you say? Oh, thanks. I'll take it. There you go. She bought a tie. Right? A tie. Do we know what a tie is here? Yeah, a tie. Good job. Okay. And after the audio and after answering the questions, um, we have a post listening exercise here. Um, with a partner, decide on a particular item you want to buy, like a camera, computer, book, notebook, etc. Then use the internet or try to find the buy that considers price, shipping costs, return policy, and time for delivery. This is just a little discussion. Hey, what would you like to buy? Oh, I want to buy a camera. And we need to find on the internet what, would, what are the considerations to buy it, like the price, the cost of shipping, return policy, and time for delivery, stuff like that. And here, the second part is, imagine you want to buy a gift for a friend for her birthday. She's really into electronics and fashionable clothing. So you want to buy your friend either some new headphones or um, for her iPhone or a nice trendy shirt. Your budget is $50. Aquí hay un término muy importante, budget, your budget. Okay, everybody, if you have never heard the word budget, please write it down. Your budget is how much money you can spend. Okay, visit two online stores to find these items and compare pricing, shipping, shipping cost, company refund policy in case there are problems with the order. So, this one, we're going to complete um, right now. And this, oh no, we don't, I think, don't, uh, I don't think we have enough time. But this one, online investigation, can you all see it? Yes, this is your homework for tomorrow. Okay, let me put it in the chat 
And that will be our homework. Oh, there you go. Somebody already took a, um, a, a print screen. Here's the text, online investigation. Imagine that you want to buy a gift for a friend for her birthday. Lean el caso, investigan, and you talk to me about it tomorrow. How about that? Okay, everybody heard that? Please show me a reaction. Yes, we already did. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, very good session, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Please do your homework and make sure you save for a rainy day. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for the session. See you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.